Princess Natalia, you returned. You realize what this will mean? Stop. I am Ion, Phone Master of the Order of Lorelei. I seek an audience with His Majesty. Y yes, sir. Those who accompany me come under the protection of Doth. If they are treated with any disrespect, Doth will no longer read the score for Kim Laska. Open the way. That's an order from Phone Master Ion. Let's go. First, we must deal with those who are inciting the King to war. Let's go, Natalia. This time, we will convince him. Right. Natalia. Where, where are the guards? Uncle, there's no need for guards. Natalia is your daughter. My daughter died years ago. No, the Natalia here before you is your daughter. Seventeen years of memory should tell you that. Luke. <laughs> I learned that from you. Memories. So someone told you she's not your real daughter. So what? That doesn't change your memories. The memories you two share as a family belong to you alone. I know that. I know that. Well then? It's all right, Luke. Father, your majesty, you may call me a criminal if you wish. But please, stop this war with Malkuth. I won't ask why you sent emissaries to Exeriuth. I don't even want to know. But His Majesty Peony the Ninth trusted in me as an emissary of peace. I do not intend to lose that trust for your sake. Excuse me, Your Majesty. A monarch need not suffer these youthful tirades. May I suggest we come back at a later date to hear Your Majesty's feelings? Jade! What if they hide troops to ambush us? The people of this city would turn against His Majesty, just as before. And Phone Master Ion is here as well. We all know what Doth's response would be were the Phone Master to die. Are you threatening me? Jade the Necromancer? Did you think I would enter a situation like this without taking certain precautions? I've written a document detailing the crisis facing the world. I will read it and see you in my audience chamber tomorrow. Uncle, I trust you. 
Excuse us, your majesty. 